Hey guys, so today I'm vlogging. Right now I'm getting ready to go to a lunch with one of my good friends. And I wanna get cute because I haven't gotten like ready and cute in a while, but I still wanna stay pretty casual. I am gonna curl my hair and my hair always takes the longest to do because I have long hair but i recently dyed it and got it cut and it looks so good and healthy right now and i've been using this t3 curling iron and this is a one inch barrel this is like my go-to hair tool right now love it My shirt blends into my hair. So after I curl my hair, I like to comb through the curls because they're super tight right now and this kind of like loosens them up. And then I like to use this Moroccan oil, one of my favorite hair oils and it smells so good. And then I'll put it at the ends. Gives my hair a nice shine. I just got this as a sample at Ulta, but this is the Redken Smoothing Spray. And this is an instant smoothing and frizz protection spray. It also smells so good. So I'm just gonna spray this in the hair because I do get frizzing throughout the day, but I haven't used this enough to kind of see if that helps with that. So we'll see how it goes today. Hair is done. I had to change my shirt because I just look like a floating head with that black shirt on in this area. But I went to Sephora a few days ago and I just want to show you guys the few things that I got. So I mainly went there to get the new Sol de Janeiro fragrance number 59 in that purple bottle. And when I got there and I sprayed it, it smelled pretty good. It kind of had like a vanilla, more of a muskier scent to it. I like to like walk around and see how it like lasted. I don't know, it just didn't last very long on me. So I decided not to get it. And instead I ended up getting a few makeup products. First, I will be trying this all on today because I want to do like a get ready with me using new makeup. So I got the Dior Forever Glow Star Filter and this reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. So this is what it looks like and I got mine in the shade 2. So I'll be trying this on. I'm super excited to see how it wears because I do like a glowy look. I also got the new Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in Icon Baby. I love these lip liners. They are so good. The Iconic Nude shade is my favorite lip liner shade. I'm obsessed with it. So these were the only two products I got from Sephora when I went because this is expensive. This was $55 and this lip liner is so expensive. It's $25. But the lip liner is definitely worth it. Hopefully this is worth it too. Lip my hair back. I don't have that much time. I'm not going to do any extravagant makeup look. I'm just going to do my everyday makeup but using new products. So I'm going to prime the eyes and I always use this MAC soft ochre paint pot. I really like this just because it gives me a little color. Then I like to set that with just a translucent powder. I just feel like it makes it so much easier to blend eyeshadow on. Although I'm not going to do that much eyeshadow. I'm just using this Kosas cloud set powder. So I don't have any new primers to use so I'm just going to use this Tatcha silk primer. I actually got a good chunk of new products from Sephora and Ulta and I think I am going to do an Ulta and Sephora haul video because I really enjoy doing those. And then once that primer's on, I like to spray this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist. Highly recommend. It's a good dewy mist. So while the primer is setting into my skin, I'm just going to put a little bit of bronzer in my crease. And I'm going to use this Charlotte Tilbury, the Glowgasm Face Palette. This is the newer one that they came out with a couple months ago. I don't know if I love this yet. I need to keep using it to see. But the bronzer in here just hasn't been my favorite. I'm gonna use it again today to see how it works. The few times that I've used it hasn't been my favorite. All right, so just a little bit of bronzer in the crease to give me a little definition. So I'm gonna put a tiny wing on. I'm gonna use this KVD Beauty Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown. Love this stuff. All right, so my wings are definitely a little bit bigger than I want. When that happens, I like to use this brow food eraser. This is just the mini one. And then I can kind of erase off just a little bit of the wing if it's too big. 
there we go just erase a little bit off same thing with this side wings are a little bit smaller I feel better now i just got this i don't think this is a new product this is the nyx lift and snatch brow pen and i've been normally using this stila stay all day waterproof brow color this one's so expensive so i am gonna try out this nyx one and see how it does i don't know why but a lot of nyx products just haven't worked for me so here's what it looks like and it has a nice tiny brush tip this is what i like because you could be so precise with this i think this color is gonna be good too i got the color ash brown and i like to use it just to fill in the little bald spots i have and this is a long wearing brow product so just in my little bald spot areas i also just got that new nyx bronzer it's coming in the mail i'm super excited to try it out all right let's see what this dior rubber glow star filter is all about so i'm just gonna do a little pump and this is the shade two I almost feel like I should have got a shade higher. But I saw a video of someone saying that it oxidizes a little bit, so I'll probably be fine. And I'm not using this as like a foundation, so the color's off. Should be okay. I am going to use a sponge to disperse the product. It does have a scent. It's definitely giving a really nice glow. So this product states that it's supposed to enhance your complexion. So making you look like you have beautiful shiny glass skin, which it is giving like that beautiful glow. Hopefully it'll still show once I put foundation over it. I'm super excited about this product. This is new from Maybelline. I think it's actually been out for a while, but Ulta just got it, so I, I just got it. But this is the Maybelline Erase Treatment Makeup, and it has SPF 20 in there. I got mine in the shade 118. So this is like that age rewind concealer, but foundation version of it. Here's what it looks like. It has that little sponge tip, and then you just twist, and then product's supposed to come out. Oh, I see it. Products coming out. So this is supposed to be buildable to medium coverage. Uh, should I have gotten a shade darker? I never know with Maybelline. Like I feel like their shade range is a little off. I'm just gonna spread this around with this applicator and then use my sponge to blend it all in. I do like that it has SPF in there. And I am gonna use this little sponge to kind of like really blend in the nose area. I definitely should have gotten a darker shade because this is so light. All right, here is it close up. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't like the way it's sitting on my pore area. It almost seems like it's just kind of sitting on top. Might look better after I put everything else on. All right, I'm gonna quickly conceal and I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Wear Even Concealer. This is in the shade 210W. This is a great everyday concealer in my opinion. Medium to buildable full coverage and it's super hydrating. All right, next I'm gonna cream bronze Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. Love this. I just put this everywhere and since this foundation is too light, I need a lot of it. Same sponge. Like look how quick and beautiful that blends. Like this is such a good product. You probably can't see on camera, but it, the foundation's like sitting in my pores. Ugh. I don't know if it's the foundation or that Dior skin. I don't know. I'll have to use them separate to see how they work. Next, I'm going to do blush. So this is the Milk Makeup Jelly Tint Blush and then the Undone Beauty Blush. I just want to compare the two on the skin and just see how they are because I've seen videos of how the Undone Beauty Water Blush is a dupe for the Milk Makeup Blush. They're definitely not the same texture though. This is like a jelly and then this one's more of a solid, but they do give off that beautiful water-like blush tint. Okay, let's see how this blends. Oh, that's so beautiful. This is in the shade Burst, by the way. All right, next, Undone Beauty. This one definitely seems a little more pigmented. Be light-handed with this. 
What do you guys think? I think they look the same. They applied the same. They're both very pretty. Now it's just lasting power. Let's see which one lasts the longest. All right, now I gotta set the face and I'm going to use this Givenchy Prism Libre powder. I have the shade 2 Satin Blanc. I love this powder. It is so good. Same beauty sponge, just gonna set underneath the eye area and places I get any creasing or oily. Now I'm gonna do more bronzing. So I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury palette and I'm gonna use the bronzer in here. I feel like I really gotta dig into this to get color payoffs. everywhere because that foundation was too light for highlight i'm just gonna use a little highlight in here and then a little bit of this pink one this color right here in the palette makes this whole palette worth it even if that bronzer is not the best it's so beautiful more setting spray before i do any mascara so for mascara i'm just gonna use this mini benefit fan fest mascara this is really good Look at all that length it gives. Just a little bit on the bottom. Gotta set these brows, Benefit Brow Setter. All right, last part, lips. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Icon Baby. This is such a beautiful shade. Definitely has a nice pink tint to it. Then next I'm gonna use this Undone Beauty lip oil, lip gloss, I don't know, but this is in the shade Peach and Honey. All right, and this is the makeup. Turned out good, I just don't know how I feel about this foundation because I still see it kind of settling in my pores a little bit. But this is a super cute lip combo, look at that. This is always the aftermath after I do my makeup. Okay, so now I have to pick an outfit and I definitely want to stay super casual. So jeans and a sweater, something simple. All right, so here's the outfit. I'm gonna put some jewelry on and I always just do like little gold hoops. And then this necklace that has an L on it, but it's tangled right now. I have to untangle it. So I hate when this happens. Then I'm just gonna wear these white Adidas sneakers. They're super comfortable. They're my favorite. I wear them at work too. And they're so dirty, like I need to clean them. You probably can't tell on camera because these lights wash things out, but they are dirty. All right, then fragrance I'm gonna wear. I just got this Good Girl Carolina Herrera perfume and it's new on Ulta, but I just got the mini travel size one. This is called Blush and here's the packaging. So I'm just gonna spray this on. Hopefully it smells good. Oh, it smells really good. Super sweet and almost has like a florally scent to it. I know you're not supposed to rub it, but ugh. it is a glass bottle. So I need to pack my purse and I wanted to show you guys what I usually bring with me anytime I go anywhere. Obviously my phone, but my phone has my ID and money in there. So phone goes in there. I always bring one of these little mini sample perfumes. And then I'm going to bring this new perfume I'm wearing now. Hand sanitizer, of course. And this little brush because my hair always gets tangled. But look at this. How cute is that? perfect little compact and it comes with a mirror lip combo is going to i always bring a little puff you know to blot with hair tie always and then car keys and all those other essentials
I just ordered that new drink from Starbucks, the matcha latte with lavender cold foam. And I'm so excited to try it. Look how pretty that is. Like the cold foam is actually purple. Let's try it. Oh, that's really good. A lot of people don't like lavender drinks because they think like the lavender taste is pretty strong. I love lavender drinks, but this one is very subtle. It's so good. I hope they keep this around for a while. Cheers.